Welcome back to another video. This is going to be on how to configure bookable products. So over here, in, I'm going to be in the, the products tab right now, and I'm actually going to go ahead and create a new product. So I'm going to click add new. And we can put in our product name. Um, I'm just going to name, name it bookable product. Scroll down and right here in the product data section in this drop down, when we click on simple product, there's actually going to be a bookable product option. Now, the only way that this is going to show up, this bookable product option, is if the bookings um, product plugin is installed on the website. And if it's not, go ahead and let us know, and we will be more than happy to install it for you um, for free. So go ahead, and once it's installed, you'll be able to go ahead and choose bookable product. Now all the settings are going to show up. So up here, virtual has persons and has resources. These are additional options. <clears throat> so if this is a virtual uh, product, which doesn't require shipping, which most bookings are, so you can click on virtual. Has persons if you enable this. Uh, the person, wh whoever is booking, the customer is going to be able to choose which person they're booking with and has resources. So if you enable this, this is going to enable options uh, for someone to choose which room or type of instructor that they're going to be booking with if there's multiple types or rooms that can be booked. So for the general tab here, this is where the tax status is and the tax class if you have that enabled and set up in the back end. So the booking duration, this is where you can set how long each bookable time is. So right now it's one day, uh, but usually people only book. If you wanted to set this up, you could set it up for like 30 minutes. So that way each block of time that's available on the calendar is only 30 minutes long. So someone can book at 8 o'clock and then another person can book at 8.30. Um, you can choose if the calendar is always visible or if it's only visible uh, when it's clicked on. These two options are just additional. Um, if you check this, it's going to make the person who booked the, the appointment, it's going to make them confirm it or else it's not going to be set in stone and it's not going to happen. Um, it can be canceled if you choose this. There is going to be an option in the email that the customer receives to cancel the meeting, and you can choose how long they can be canceled until. So the linked products, uh, this is not relevant here. Uh, you could get more information about this on my simple products uh, video that I made. Attributes, there's nothing here. Uh, advanced, get more options, and availability. So availability is the next tab that you're going to want to pay attention to. So you can choose the max maximum amount of uh, bookings per block. So if you really wanted to, you can accept two different bookings at the same time if you have multiple people on your team. Uh, minimum bookable block. So this is how, how long they can book into the future if you wanted to set a limit on that. So if you set it to three, then on your calendar, the, the, um, the earliest that someone's going to be able to book is three days from now. And then the maximum uh, Right now it's set to 12 months, so they can actually book 12 months ahead of time. And you can change this to months, weeks, days, or hours. Um, require a buffer period. So if you enable this to like five minutes, then uh, nobody's going to be able to um, actually book you from 8 and then another person at 8.30. It'll be uh, someone can book you at 8 o'clock and then someone can book you at 8. 35 to give you five minutes of time uh, between those meetings. Um, then scroll down here and then there's um, a couple more options so that when the first block starts at uh, you can choose let's say 12 p.m. and then you can restrict which days um, people can book on so let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then we can add a range. 
And then I'm going to change this to, there's a bunch of options in here of how you want to set this up, but I'm going to show you how to do it from time range. Um, so you can set this to 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. And I'm going to say this is a bookable time. So Monday to Friday, what I did here, I set this to Monday to Friday. I'm going to be able to be booked from 12 o'clock to 5 p.m. in 30 minute increments that I set in the general tab. So fixed blocks of 30 minutes. My availability is going to be 12 to 5. So if I actually go ahead now um, and go to the cost tab, I can set how much this is going to cost them to actually book this time. You can set zero dollars, you can set um, fifty dollars, however much you want to charge. Uh, it's going to be up to you. So you want to set this for all of them. And then if we hit publish, you can view the product. So now, once we click on it, uh, we can see our settings here, we can choose a time, and actually here, um, the reason it's $100 is because in the cost tab, there, the base cost is $50, and then a block is another 50 So that's how we got the, the $100 here. And then this is a display cost, so this is just going to show up right here. No matter what you enter here, so let's change this to 75. It's a little misleading, but you can do it if you'd like. So now it's going to say 75, even though when you click on a day and a time, it's actually going to be 100. Um, so those are the options for a bookable product. There's many different ways you can set this up, and if you have any trouble or would like any help, Go ahead and let us know and we'll be happy to help. All right, thank you.